Hello everyone, this is Mamta Mund and today we will learn and solve exercise 11a questions 1 to 12 of chapter 11. Chapter name is Understanding Elementary Shapes of Class 6 of Composite Mathematics Textbook. Let's get started and solve some questions. Today we will learn and solve exercise 11a questions 1 to 12 of chapter 11. Chapter name is understanding elementary shapes and topics are measuring line segments and measuring angles. Let's solve some questions. Now we will solve question number 1. Fill in the blanks. First bit is the unit of measurement of an angle is dash. We can measure an angle by degree so answer is degree degree is the unit of measurement of an angle second bit one complete rotation of a line about a point is equal to dash degree one complete rotation of a line about a point this is a point one complete rotation of a line about a point. This is 360 degree. Three hundred sixty degree. So one complete rotation of a line about a point is equal to 360 degree. Now third bit. The angle between the north direction and east is dash degree. This is north, south, west and east. North to east. The angle between north direction and the east is 90 degree. Fourth bit. What is the angle between the hands of the clock at 6 o'clock? What is the angle between the hands of the clock at 6 o'clock? 6 o'clock, this is 6, 3, 9, 2. Two M three six nine. What is the angle between the hands of the clock at six o'clock? Six o'clock. You see. So the angle is. This is a straight line. So angle. Straight angle is equal to one hundred eighty degree. So the angle between the hands of the clock at 6 o'clock is 180 degree. Now fifth bit. The measure of the angle when the minute hand moves by 1 minute is equal to dash degree. 1 minute. So whole. This is the whole circle. This, this is the angle. This whole circle is equal to 1 equal to 360 degree and the measure of the angle when the minute hand moves by 1 minute 1 minute 60 seconds so this is 60 6 degree so the measure of the angle when the minute hand moves by 1 minute is equal to 6 degree Now we will solve question number 2. In the given figure, a circle is divided into 4 equal parts by the lines AOD, AOC, BOC, BOD. How many times is the angle AOB of the angle AOC? First draw the given figure. This is the figure given. This is A, B, C and D. This figure is given and the circle is divided into four equal parts. This is the circle 
A B C D. This is the circle, and it is the circle is divided divided into four equal parts by the lines A B and C D. The parts four parts are A O D, B O D, B O C, and A O C. How many times is the angle A O B of the angle A O C? A O B angle. This is A O B angle straight straight line. This is straight angle. Straight angle A O B straight angle is equal to one hundred eighty degree. Angle A O C. This is angle A O C. A O C is equal to ninety degree. All the four quadrants. This circle is divided into four quadrants, and each quadrant is equal to ninety degree. So angle AOC is ninety degree. So how many times is the angle AOB of the angle AOC? So angle AOB is twice of angle AOC. Two times of ninety degree is one hundred eighty degree. So two times twice is the angle of AOB of angle AOC. So answer is twice or two times. How many times? Two times. The angle AOB is two times of the angle AOC. Now we will solve question number three. See the figure. The circle is divided into six equal parts. Find the angle A one, O A two, angle A one, O A three, and the angle A one of A one, O A five. First, draw the figure. This figure is given. This is the center O. A one, A two, A three, A four, A five, A six, A seven, A eight, A nine, A ten, A eleven, A twelve, A thirteen, A fourteen, A fifteen. So the circle is divided into sixteen equal parts. This is sixteen. Sixteen equal parts. Find the angle A one, O A two. So whole circle is equal to nine three hundred sixty degree. The circle is divided into six equal parts, so it will be divided by sixteen. So angle A one 
O, this is O center O. A one to A two. So angle A one. A one O, A two is equal to angle A one O A two. This is the angle A one O A two is equal to three hundred sixty degree. The whole circle is equal to three hundred sixty degree. The complete rotation of the circle is equal to three hundred sixty degree, and the circle is divided into sixteen equal parts. So three hundred sixty degree divided by sixteen is equal to sixteen. Sixteen to the thirty two four. Sixteen to the thirty two, and this is eight. Twenty two eight by sixteen. Or twenty two, cancelling by eight, eight one by eight, and eight two by fifty. So twenty two half, twenty two half degree. So angle A one O A two is equal to twenty two half degree. Now second bit B A one angle A one O A three angle A one to A three this angle angle A one to A two is twenty two half degree so angle A two to A three also twenty two half degree so each angle A one to A two A two to A three A three to A four this is equal to twenty two half degree. So angle A one to A A three. This is B and this is A. Angle A one O A three is equal to angle A one O A two. Angle A one O A two plus angle A one A two O A three. A one or A two is twenty two half degree, and A two to this angle A two to A three also twenty two half degree, which is equal to forty five degree. This is twenty two half degree, and this is forty five degree. Now third bit C. A one angle A one O A five angle A one O A five C. A one O A five one two three four four times of angle A one O A two. It is four times of twenty-two half degree, and four times of twenty-two half degree. This is and this is two. Ninety degree. So angle A one O A five is equal to ninety degree. So angle A one O A two is equal to twenty two half degree. Angle A one O A three is equal to forty five degree. And angle A one O A five is equal to ninety degree. Now question number fourth bit B. How many times is the angle A one O A twelve of the angle A one O A two? This is the circle. This this is the figure given.
two, three, four quadrants. A1, A2, A3, A4, A5, A6, A7, A8, A9. A10, A11, A12, A13, A14, A15, A16, A17, A18, A19, and this is the center O. The circle is divided into 16 equal parts. This, this figure is given. We have to find how many times is the angle A1, O, A12 of the angle A1, O, A2. We got this angle A1, O, A2 is 360 divided by 16. Angle A1, O, a2 is 360 divided by 16 which is equal to 22 half degree. A1 O A2 is 22 half degree. Then A1 O A12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11. A1 O A12. Eleven times A one O A twelve divided by A one O A twelve divided by A one O A two and A one O A twelve is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven of a1 o a2 divided by a1 o a2 so a1 o a2 angle is cancelled then this is 11 times so 11 times is the angle a1 o a12 of the angle a1 o a2 so a1 o a12 is equal to 11 of a1 o a2 Now question number 50 E. How many times is the angle A1 O A4 of the angle A1 O A2? Let's draw the figure. The, the circle is divided into 16 equal parts. 16. Divide this circle into 16 equal parts. A1, A2, A3, A4, A5, A6, A7, A8, A9, A10, A11, A12, A13, A14, A15, A16, A17, A18, A19, A20, A21, A22, A23, A24, A25, A26, A27, A28, A29, A30, A31, A32, A33, A34, A35, A36, A37, A38, A39, A40, A41, A42, A43, A44, A45, A46, A47, A48, A49, A50, A51, A52, A53, A54, A55, A56, A57, 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 A57
180, which is equal to 3. So, 3 times is the angle A1, O, A4 is equal of the angle A1, O, A2. So, answer is 3, 3 times. Now, FB. What fraction of the whole evolution is the angle A5, O, A7? This is the figure given. The circle is divided into 16 equal parts. Let's draw this circle divided into 16 equal parts. 4 parts, 4 quadrants. And 5. One, A two, A three, A four, A five, A six, A seven, A eight, A nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. The circle is divided into sixteen equal parts. A one to A sixteen. Now, what fraction of the whole revolution is the angle A5 to A7? A5 O A7. Angle A5 O A7. 1, 2, 3. A5 to O7. 1, 2. Mm -hmm. A5 to O7. That is 2. So, whole circle is divided into 16 equal parts. That is, whole, then out of 2, 2 parts can be taken out from these 16 equal parts. So, the fraction will be 2 divided by 16. 2 parts can be taken out. This A5 to A7 is 2 parts. 1, A5 to A6, 1 part and A6 to A7 second part. So, A5 to A6 1 plus A6 to A7 1 plus 1 is 2. So, this is 2. Num numerator is 2 divided by the whole circle. The whole circle is divided into 16 equal parts. A1 to A16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So, denominator is 16. So, 2 divided by 16 is cancelling by 2, 2 divided by 2 is 1 and 16 divided by 2 is 8. So, fraction of the whole revolution is the angle A5 O A7 is 1 divided by 8. If you have not subscribed my YouTube channel, then please subscribe my YouTube channel. And if you have any doubt, then please write in comment section and I will reply. Keep learning, keep watching and please subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you. Thank you.